This is Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories. My name is Elsie Godwin, and I have my co-anchor Sumi, Nimide Kombi, and Ife Omai. What's up, girl? AKA the Path of Girls. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How are you going? Doing? We're good. You both look stunning. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I love my pattern. Sorry, I'm <laughs> like that. I just had to say it. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so we're starting with the good news. Um, Netflix second original African series, Blood and Water, has been renewed for a second season. According to a statement released by Netflix on Monday, the second season will see Pulenga and Fikile deal with the consequences of their explosive confrontation as more mystery and drama unfolds. Showrunner and um, director um, Nof Nocifo Dumesa promises that Parkhurst is about to get really messy in the new season. I'm excited. I am excited. But it's going to take a I while because they're, they're, they're just starting shooting. Yeah. Right? I don't think they've started. They've not shooting. even started. I think, I think they, they just, just announced to the cast. The renewal, members. yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. It's been long but I want to away. believe that there, there, there is definitely a continuity already. There is mm. a story somewhere. So mm. I can't wait. I was reading some reactions that people were like that. They are surprised that they are excited that there is a <clears throat> season two. Mm. Because where it the story stopped right? yeah. in season one, they expected that there will be a season two. Season no, but, no, but there has been series like that and then yeah. they just yeah, cut they just off. I think there's yeah. something yeah. that you have to do. Either you have a lot of viewing mm. or, um, you know, there's like... I think it's a measure you have to reach um, to see whether or not you would be able to you do a renewed. second. So I think that you have to plan like you are going mm -hmm. to win, but it's not all the time that so you, you get so it. So most of them, they don't just like plan the series in such a way that it ends. Yeah, yeah, exactly. One. They are hoping yeah. that they will mm -hmm. get renewed. Yeah, because some people, yeah. some people who have one um, one season, yeah. like um, they'll be able to do one season and then. Tell me, we'll have three seasons, six seasons, and not I'm even trying to do remember. More. Okay, crazy, lovely, cool that we had the cast. I mean, it's just right. one season. We've not seen season two, even though it's mm. not a Netflix original. original but yeah. I mean, it was really cool, and Maybe you would expect. Stuff. But where it ended as well was okay to end. Yeah. So yeah. And then about Netflix originals, I'm excited about Nigeria's, you know, series um, Muabudu mm. with um, Baba Segi's wife mm -hmm. and um, the Horseman, yeah. um, the one with I'm hoping that they will be able to deliver. Like proper. proper production I, I'm to match so. with, so with South Africa. But before yeah. that, there was a there was one that was supposed to um, that they were working on. Yeah, there was I one that they, was the work, name now. that they were working on. I know that so one like was in those Netflix fourteen. I know yeah, that yeah, was one they were working yeah, on. Yeah. That was supposed to be the first. Yeah, so. so we don't know where. But nobody that has even said anything about that they're working, production. They're not yes, making noise. Right. Let's keep our fingers crossed. Hmm. But yeah, we have a lot to um, to think about and to start mm. working on with this Netflix thing because it really changes the dynamics mm -hmm. of the competition. Yeah. I think for the longest time, before Netflix, we're using our numbers that we're the most watched, we're the, the most... Or, on yeah, Netflix, right. I think South Africa is a strong competition. Like, the, the quality of their movies, the, movies, the acting, the storylines. Have you seen the scary movie that they're bringing out on Netflix? Like, mm -hmm. When are we ever going to get to a level where our, uh, like our thrillers look like that? Like the side effects, the makeup and everything. Mm. Not thunder flashing and there's like one guy in a uniform. No, <laughs> like graphics. proper graphics. Like it felt like you're watching an American th um, tr thriller. So I think we're doing really well with the production quality. I think the movies that came out last year, even in cinema, was like crisp and clean, the audio mm -hmm. and everything. But I think we can do better with like really strong acting, really strong storyline, story yeah. yeah. But then the thing is, one thing that people always, you know, like comment about Nollywood is that we keep on seeing the same faces. And some of those faces have been accused of not being able to deliver right. when it comes to acting. So, because um, I remember that Mo Abode tweeted something that what does, what do Nigerians want her to do with the new um, series that she wants to do? And people were like, that cast new faces. Mm. Like we want to see new people on the screen because when you even look at some of the um people that debut from the netflix series most of them were not really known yeah in their yeah, country right. so it gave them like a huge exposure for their talent and all that so i hope that with nigeria or oh, mm. we would I the, my the nigeria effects will not affect hmm. the netflix series hmm. yeah you're right man. That's not <laughs> the concern, but i'm waiting for blood and water at least mm -hmm. they've done well let them continue doing me well yeah. while we yeah. hope that other people will catch up but i can't wait for the first netflix original from nigeria i really can't yeah, wait i don't no, know if it's no, going no, to be more about the first i don't know why the name of this ace director is not coming to mind but he's the one working on the first one so is it no mm. um 
he's on the same level with Kunla for Lion and Co. So mm -hmm. I don't know. But anyway, let's move on to another good news, I suppose. It's about that time for BET Awards and Nigeria's Rema and Bonner Boy. Um, South Africa's show Mad Josie and Congolese songwriter Inosbi gets nominated for 2020 awards. Bonner Boy, Mad Josie and Inosbi were nominated alongside Dave Stubzy, Ninho and um, someone else from France in the Best International Arts category. Bonner Boy had previously won the category in 2019 while um, Rema End ignored in Viewer's Choice that's um, Best New International Arts category. Yay, Yay. I'm happy for Rema. Yay. Happy for four of them. Which one? Oh, okay. <laughs> From Africa, yeah. yeah they yeah. are representing the us. Wow. But Rema specifically. I'm, I'm very I'm, happy for um, him. The, the viewer's choice, no, not the view, the one Brenna Boy is in, that is a tight, mm -hmm. very... Very tight list. Mm -hmm. I, except from the guy from France, and I guess that's just because of language barrier. Mm -hmm. um, they're really strong competition, um, competition right? I think um, Shoma Josie has had a really good, good year. year. She has, that um, John Cena song was a banger. And even it's not just John Cena. She has other a couple of other songs that I can't say their names. I can't pronounce them well. <laughs> they're all fire. They're receiving her really well, her personality and everything. Like She's doing really well for herself. And then there's Dave. Oh, my gosh. Dave's album. So I think Stormzy to me is a bit too like old for this category. As really? far as yeah, I nah. think in a, in a way, I feel like I feel like Stormzy yeah, has. Maybe Bonner Boy is old. Even Bonner Boy, wasn't not here last year. Mm. He was here he last, won year. last year. Yeah, he won so year. I mean, maybe they just don't have any other category for us. But I don't know. I think Bonner Boy and even um, Stormzy, but Dave, Dave, I secretly want to win. I wish I was African then. I wouldn't really have a mm -hmm. tug of of war for that but i think he's done a lot of work and he his album was just like fantastic to me like i feel like we needed the album so yeah. but yeah i wish all of them the best rema of course i'm happy for rema i don't you know you think he'll win i mm, mm. i think rema might win. it's possible it's based rema on votes might win to be honest because when the thing is when you look at rema's growth since 2019 2019 was when he had this breakthrough and he's already been nominated for a bt that's like within a year. Mm -hmm. I feel like his growth is very, 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 very huge and just shows his talent. And right. the fact that he has like featured in a couple of um, international interviews and magazines, but I will think... they vote? It's he about, has a huge fan base, uh, who, not just in Nigeria. Fan, the person's I, I fan think, base I think is who votes. I'm also looking at his management now and how they have mm -hmm. done regarding awards that have got to do with voting. They've always won it. Mm. Yeah. Um, I mean, even when I don't know was, anybody else, all the competition and their voting history. Because the reason why I keep saying, would they vote, is Beyonce. Every time Beyonce gets into voting category, surprisingly, she does not win. Mm. Mm. But mm. I think Rema has a huge, 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 well, huge goes, following. So, mm. I, I hope I'm not surprised, but mm. um, I, I'm obviously for for that category. I'm rooting I think for I'm, Rema. I'm rooting for Rema. Of course, well. we knew. You didn't need to say <laughs> it. Okay, um, Tyler Perry has offered to pay for all funeral expenses for, for um, Richard Brooks' funeral. Brooks was shot by an Atlanta police officer on Friday after officers responded to a call about a man sleeping in a car at a Wendy's restaurant drive thru um, Brooks was shot in the back and pronounced dead later at a hospital, according to authorities. His death had sparked protests in Atlanta. Well, he was shot at three times, but mm. two got into his back. Who shoots? Okay, well, Tyler Perry. I'm very happy he did that. Um, it's one of those things that I, I don't know. Uh, I hope that... There's some, there's some times when we get into the news for giving and things like that. I'm always very worried about um, giving that's not very sustainable because um, you might want to help, but you're really helping is mm -hmm. always what I think about in regards to everything. And this is one of those ones where absolutely people need healing and they, ha they, they are deserving of a befitting funeral so that everyone can come together, especially families. He's just popular. There's a lot of families that have lost people today, yesterday, that are just not filmed um, yeah. and they can all come together and have that space and everything and that's amazing but um i i, I hope that it doesn't stop there in regards to because i i looked at that woman when she was talking carrying her baby and i was just thinking the odds that you already have to um face because you're a black person a black woman and you've now lost a provider and he did really well in providing for his family as far as you know her her statement and everything i hope that people come together and help like the way um Kanye gave, yeah. where he set up funds and things that are sustainable. So mm. I hope that they're also thinking about that. But yeah, kudos to Tyler. I think for me, it's just 
once again very interesting. It, it reminds me of, uh, I don't know if it was the Ghanaian singer, the Wendy Shea, that was talking about black on black crime, when right. people were talking about racism. And it's like, it's really not the same. No, it's not. Because the truth is, whether you like it or not, the police is there to protect. It's supposed to be there to protect people. And when you have the police, Killing people, it doesn't make any sense, whether in any country, whether it is Nigeria or the United States of America, it makes no sense. And I watched the video of this young man. Mm. He was smiling. He, of course, clearly he was drunk. He was mm. not yeah. sober. And of course, he failed the sobriety test. But that is not an excuse. But we I don't know even that know. He people, didn't say. He didn't no, actually. He, he, he didn't, failed the test. He failed the test, oh, okay, according to, yeah. to the news. He failed the test. But I'm like, it still doesn't mean. He was sleeping. He wasn't, he wasn't driving, drunk. Yeah. He wasn't drunk driving. So on what basis did they have to arrest him mm. in the first place? And even if he tried to run away, it's still not an excuse for him to die. Mm. I mean, this is the situation that black people have to face in America. The fact that you can wake up one morning and go out. I like a good example. Take that a some, drink somebody and then you're not said, going to come When back you home. mentioned that in regards to black on black violence against um, white pol um, killing brutality, someone said, okay, so imagine you saying that. Why are you complaining that a few doctors are deliberately killing their patients when people come into the um, room, to the hospital every day and die on their own anyway? Mm. Mm. That's kind of like That's the same, kind of, exactly. the same That's comparison the, the, the between kind of mentality. Um, black people. But it's, 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 I'm exhausted from... I think the conversation is really police brutality. And yeah. now it is more... You police know, brutality based on race. Based on race. So it is, I think it's a... It's a broad conversation, and yeah. if you're not careful, you might miss the point, which is what some people are actually doing when right. they begin to bring out other issues that we know, yeah. yes, they are there, but yeah. that's yeah. not the point yeah. right now. Exactly. We know someone has been killed unjustly, regardless whether he was drunk, whatever. Your 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 job is to protect, not to kill the people you are supposed to protect. And um, talking about sustainable giving, I as much as, yes, we need that, and I hope that people can rally around to get that for um, the family, um, there are givens that actually take away burdens and help you mourn right and help mm -hmm. you feel right, you know. Yeah. And I think that is what Tyler Perry's giving is doing right now. Mm -hmm. There would be conversations for the future and what can be done for the wife and the child and all that. But right now, there is an immediate need. And um, it is, I think we have, I think it's a global culture now for people to rally around when someone dies to yeah. give the person a befitting burial. But yeah. going forward, I hope that that conversation will come up as well yeah. to ensure that the family is well taken care of. Yeah. Yeah. And I also think it's very important for people to note that even as people are rioting, they're still killing black people. Mm. So I've seen some people say, oh, the, riot, the protest should be over already. Why are people still protesting? Well, we are still protesting. Or they are still protesting. Happening. Because it is still happening. And uh, I think a young I'll, girl lost her yeah, life I recently. I want to, to hope so like, that someone like sense. Trump, because I was watching the news this morning mm. and he was talking about them sending a the National Guard and all. And I'm really hoping that he can have a change of heart and the correct brain mm. to know that the conversation, he should really hit the nail on the head and address the issue. Yeah. Mm not just forgetting about why what is happening is happening, happening. and focusing on the fact that you think there is disruption and people, and people are born in the, you know like, why not tackle wanted, it you from know, the roots? Uh, uh, you, you know how crazy it is when he wants to go and address people who are really hurt and then he sends the military first to go before him yeah. send tear, bomb, um, throw um, tear gases in people's houses just so that he can come yeah. <laughs> I mean I'm a fan of Donald it's, Trump it's not like weird. fan fan but there are things that he does that it just makes me laugh and I see him on it, but the way he's been handling this yeah. uh, Black Lives Matter protest is just um, very distasteful. And yeah. I hope that he thinks someone speaks to him and gets him to and do the right thing. And people should even realize that no matter how many buildings are burned, it is not the same as somebody's life. Mm. Somebody's parent died, somebody's brother died, somebody's sister died. I don't care if they born or the buildings. I don't oh. care. Buildings can be replaced. Mm -hmm. That person's life would never and, and be And I think replaced. people also, people, especially in, in Nigeria, and I guess that's also just a, a bit of a ignorance there, that I think people are forgetting that burning buildings is a historically American thing. Mm. So that's how they actually communicate a lot of the times. Yeah. And why people started that thing, when they have a problem with either the locals or the newly freed bread, the, the um, saves and everything. They will go to their houses, their buildings, burn their churches, burn their schools. They mm. started this burning thing. I so know, sometimes I think, because you hear some people say, well, why are they burning now? They 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 like, from uh, I support the Black yeah. Lives Matter movement, but, but please, no, yeah. burning Burning no, is very American. Okay. Tea time continues right after this very short break.
Welcome to Tea Time on Plus TV Africa, where we bring you the biggest entertainment stories and, of course, analyze them for you. You can have both parents and still end up as a useless child at the scene every day. <laughs> <laughs> Most times, I worry more about where I'm coming from mm -hmm. and where I am now, wow. and that determines my next step. Why are you sounding like an Alibaba? Alibaba. Oh, <laughs> Plus TV Africa, we're feeling good. No time to do Everybody feeling alright. Minimal mm. Akpala music is for mature-minded people. Like I got DM sometimes from Malawi, like, woo! Sleeping early, sleeping early. This is City Time on Plus TV Africa. The federal government has said it gave approval for the flights that flew in Aziz Fashola, popularly known as Naramali from Lagos to Abuja. However, the flight was meant to fly in a justice at the Fokwe Ukoje from Lagos to Abuja and back to Lagos for essential purposes and not the musician. The Minister of Aviation, Hadi Sirika, disclosed this at the Daily Presidential Tax Force um, on COVID-19 briefing on Monday. This development has, um, of course, sparked outrage on social media. As it should. Mm. What? Because if you watched, I, first of all, I want to say that people that even organized this driving concert, mm -hmm. they should have chosen another artist. Mm. It's not Naira Mali that you will bring for a driving concert. Mm. <laughs> if I they run, to stay in their cars. If they run Cobams, if they run um, Johnny Drew, mm -hmm. I'm sure also people see that in their car. Or even Asha, people see that in their car and enjoy the R&B. Or Adekunle Bo. Which one? Which song? Yeah, true. Um, the one with Kiss Daniel. Jury. Hey, they will people will not really, people will not really, but how do you take Shumole in your car? Mm -hmm. How do you, which other song is my phone? Or say in your car? But Naramali is just a problem. It I, is. I, I don't this know. is the second time they are violating is. this. But the organizers are a bigger problem in this, in yeah. this particular but case. But they had, they had, let's look at their intentions. Their intentions were the good. The intention had fraudulent. Now and. we are beginning to see that they had fraudulent. Uh, uh, because uh, how, Maggie I and run, how in coincidental it. is it that you put Naramali in a plane that was supposed to be taking somebody else who had no, a special a name mm. that resembled yours all of a sudden like how, how does the there's justice there's name of, resemble fashion name now no 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 the the no, airline as, mm. said that what they received was the um Raj was Fashola. baba was no, not even no, Raj, Raj. they just said baba today fashion yeah was person, and they actually released evidence they wrote the names uh. of people on the plane and we saw baba today fashion there so they did not know that it was Naramali that was on the plane and they were bringing him for a concert so they so changed Naramali's the name i don't know, know if they changed so they, because what, what I saw was that Aziz, isn't that his name? That's, Aziz Fashola. Aziz yeah. Fashola was not on the list. Yes, he was not on the list. It was Baba Tunde Fashola that was there. So mm. is Naramali's so name Baba Tunde too? Did, did Raji Fashola, did Baba Tunde Fashola actually want to travel? Because that's why you know if there was an actual mm. fraud. Let's not start to activity. stretch this conversation. There was a wuru -wuru, <laughs> and now the wuru, wuru is in public. Yeah. Clearly, I'm, I don't believe this is the first time this has happened. True. Um, they've probably been getting um, approvals to fly themselves. And you see this phone, using using Baba it's what is name. putting them all in trouble not, not now. Not really using Baba Tunde's name, but barely using another which, person's The point name. is, we've gotten approval for this jet to fly. So who who is in the plane is not the the bone of contention. It is the fact that the air, uh, the jet can actually fly. That's yeah. the point at the end of the day. So if you have a valid passport and they want you to go, they will not do their whole woo -woo to the answer downstairs. Mm -hmm. But the approval was for essential services, and it, it's just sad. I'm not going to add surprise because I mean I'm in Nigeria and we are all in Nigeria. Anybody that wants to add surprise, yeah, be my guest. <laughs> but I'm not surprised. It's just that the fact that that concert, a lot of things happened at that concert that yeah. went on social media, True. and it has become like a ripple effect to um, unleash or reveal the whole scam that has been so going on. So it's it's not it's not something new. It's just sad, really. I think yeah. it's just sad. And very irresponsible. I mean, in a time when I'm reading more about the COVID-19 situation and I'm getting scared again. Like, I was scared at the beginning, then you mellowed down, but now I'm getting scared again because whether you like it or not, people are coming out to say that they know somebody that died. I mean, talking about in Nigeria, people are coming out to say they know somebody that died. So when you when when people, when people when there's that fear, and then you, you are now, like, doing a concert and everybody's dancing like as you know there's no coronavirus mm -hmm. out and you are somebody that has a huge platform let's let's not forget that 
um, there are some artists that are not very, very popular with the streets. Mm. But Naomi is, is an artist that is very, very popular in the and streets. And he's had this so mess. Come on. He's in this COVID-19 mess again. Again. He's not somebody that, that wants to think about, oh, I don't know what will happen if I gather around illegally. You've done that before. You did that in Funke's house. Like, you know what it is to um, huge violate opera about the um, social distancing rules. <sighs> it's well. tiring, no? Okay. And it was the same person that tweeted that he does not really believe in... Can you remember? Was it him or... He was the Zandia one that was, was tweeting one, a few actually. tweets that did not make sense. I was like, that you should use your platform wisely. Then he now said that uh, so is another name for washing your hands or something. Like, that was him yeah, trying someone to gave him. Someone image. actually gave him the idea on social media and he decided to run, run along. But so let's come move on, on to huge platform, another well. sad story. Comedian Shei Law mourns the death of his aunt who had an accident and died due to lack of equipment in hospital. He's calling on governor of Undo State's to take responsibility and fix health care in the states. Take a look at the video. Your Excellency, Barisa wrote me a Keridolu. This is not a fight with you. It is just stating the truth. This morning, my mom's younger sister had an accident and they didn't have the right equipment to take care of her at the general hospital in Ibokoda. And in just some few minutes, she's been pronounced dead just because she fractured her neck in an accident. Please, please, let's do the right thing. Oh, so bad dead. Yeah, that was yeah. heartbreaking, yeah. emotional, yeah. Um, but not surprising because I've said it on this table <laughs> that so many people that are pronounced dead in Nigeria and maybe Africa, if they were in the Western world where they have better healthcare system, yeah. they'll probably still be alive. Yeah. A lot, we've lost life to health Flimsy negligence things. and Flimsy it's just sad. It's really sad. I don't know. I mean, this is happening and coming to the public because she's she is related to Ishei law. Yeah. But so many people have lost friends, families, mothers, fathers on something that could actually be prevented, either based on negligence or based on our own irresponsibility to check ourselves regularly. You know, it's... I don't know how this lifestyle will be changed, but first and foremost, those in government should do the right, should do the right thing, like he has rightly called out the governor of the state to look into their healthcare yeah. system. I mean, I think this is something we've actually talked about since the beginning of the COVID-19 pandemic, how uh, we're talking about they should focus more on the healthcare system. And it's very sad, once again, to see that even with the pandemic, it felt like nobody actually still... Uh, she really brought budget and said <laughs> they needed to renovate their house. To, the, can you imagine? So it feels like still the healthcare is not important <laughs> to um, our leaders, I, I just, I don't know, I'm losing hope gradually, mm. and I hope that something would change, because the truth is, people don't deserve to die needlessly like this, because this is a needless, like, it's a, a death that could have been avoided. Mm. Like, how, how many people die from fracture of the leg? That's in crazy. developed countries? So I just hope that something will be done. Healthcare is a fundamental right of a human being, so I hope that and it's Nigeria not like take it seriously. It, you know, it's one thing, when I when remember when we used to go for missionary, you know, visits or whatever, and the the country is poor, it's different. It's very different. Mm. They need help. They need assistance. They need um, resources. That's not what's happening here, yeah. and I think that's what makes it really painful. Is that we have the resources, we have the money. Someone is just sitting on it, just or a few people are. Managed, basically. Yeah, but well, we need to go. <clears throat> and that's how I wrap up this episode of Tea Time. Thank you for watching, and um, we hope that our government will be watching as well to do the right thing. Thank you as always to go to my co-anchors, Nimide Kombi and Ife Omai, and the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe. <music>